What's up guys, Natsu underscore here, back with another episode of the Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Last time we defeated Chuck and opened up this area to the Safari Zone and ended off right before Doofla- er, wow, I am not wording well today. After Blaze was nearly killed by a, uh, a thing. <laughs> a Golbat. I don't know why I'm struggling for words at this point, but no need to dwell on it. Alright, why do I feel like one of these rocks is going to have something? No, no, no. Okay, they're all useless. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's do this double battle. Actually, if I remember correctly, this is a really weirdly difficult battle. Like, they have boss Pokemon, this double team. Yeah, Electabuzz and Magmar. Alright, um... First order of business, get Doofless to, I don't know, Ember, the Electabuzz. Second order of business, get the devil the heck out of here, because there's no way I'm going to be able to kill that Electabuzz quickly enough. Um, let's see, Buns has Dig, right? I taught, you, I taught him that? Yeah. Alright, switch on into Buns. Get that double Intimidate. Magmar is protected, that doesn't matter. Ooh, Electabuzz is burned, yay. And Blaze, of course, is paralyzed. What else would be going on here? Alright, go ahead and dig the crap out of that Magmar. Great. You guys just like to use status after status after status. You know who else likes to do that? The freaking Quillfish that killed uh, Wartortle. <laughs> I don't think Tackle is going to be useful anymore, so... Now Blaze has Swift instead. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Oh, screw you, Magmar. Screw you. Just get crunched. Okay, double protect. Whatever. There we go. Oh my god, flamethrower, what? Why do you know these things, Magmar? If I remember correctly, the Electabuzz knew, like, Thunderbolt or something. But, yeah, no, those guys are, like, weirdly tough. Considering the last trainer I fought was a camper, like, that's crazy. Alright, get out my full heal. Unparalyzed blaze, if that's a word. And move on forward. So that I can move on. Oh my god, do you know who is coming up? Do you know who I will face in my next double battle right after finding this lagging tail? I remember these guys perfectly because Nintendo is hilarious. We've got a couple, a man and a woman, and freaking Edie and Duff, or Ida and Duff. They're a couple, they're a man and a woman. And check out what they use. The penis and vagina Pokemon. I totally stole that joke, but it's hilarious anyway. <laughs> Alright, uh, looks like Cloyster and Onyx could both pretty much destroy me, but, uh, let's see, you're an ice type. And. Is Surf gonna hit Blaze? Yeah. I guess Dragon Rage the Onyx. Oh, you. I got a weak vagina Pokemon. <laughs> We're only level 22. And Onyx get quick attacked. Oops, I used Dragon Rage. That was dumb. That was a waste of the PP. Get it? Because I just said that Onyx was a penis. Okay, I'm going to stop with those jokes because they're defeated, but Hayden originally came up with that joke and I just decided to take it for myself. So, let's see what we got on Route 48. Oh, a Vulpix. And why not throw a Pokeball? Oh. Oh. Uh. Now is when Tackle would be useful. Alright, this might kill you. Oh! The sealed Quick Attack, okay. Uh, you also have Quick Attack, I forgot that. I don't know if I want to use an Ultra Ball on a Vulpix, like, 
It would be difficult to find a firestone. I already have a solid fire type, so I guess no. On amendment, Vulpix, vote no. Alright, um, heal up the Blazester, which is the dumbest nickname ever. I'm sorry, Blaze, I will not use that again. And what do we got over here on this secret path? Ugh. Gloom. You're so gross in Gen 4. Like, overall, Gloom is a pretty decent Pokemon because Vile Plume is a pretty decent Pokemon, but its animation just sickens me. Ooh, I found a nugget. Its animation sickens me in Generation 4. No, I don't want to use Headbutt. Because it's freaking, like, it's drooling. Like, as it says its cry, it, like, spills crap out of its mouth. Oh, Tauros. That would've been kinda cool. That would've been a cool backup doe. Cool backup doe. <laughs> backup for doe was, was the original intent of the joke. But I'm just gonna freaking get to level 32 on grinding on these wild Tauros, aren't I? That's cool. These guys are actually amazing for XP. I used them a lot in training for Morty. And just die in your sleep. Wonderful. Um, Alright, switch Blaze back. And we got the Devil, who will be useful against uh, the Steelix that Jasmine has. And then Rocky is actually weak to Steel. I don't know why I had him there. Um... Doe doesn't really have anything Steel doesn't resist in this generation. Neither does Buns. Actually, really, it's gonna be the Devil at Blaze that I'm working with, so... I guess I'll go by who's closest to leveling up for whoever gets the second slot, and that'll be Buns. Alright. <laughs> I just love the idea of a bright red Gyarados chasing after a helpless small child. And then you turn around, and what, 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 how are you feeling, monster that's chasing me? Oh, you're, you're holding something. Oh, you have a big scale. <laughs> it's funny, because he's a fish. Alright, these guys all just basically sell you crap. Little, uh, pre-Safari Zone merchants. They don't really have too many good things on them. I'd love to rest my Pokemon. Let me just throw my ten foot long monster fish onto the counter. You'll heal it up real good. I will come back every time that I somehow get injured in the Safari Zone. Alright, so let's head into the Safari Zone gate. Talk to Baboa. Uh huh, brand new Safari Zone or aptitude test. Why the heck not? Catch a Geo, dude. All right. Well, it's the, if it's the first thing there, then I will catch it because this is a Nuzlocke for just 500 Pokebucks, which is I think since Pokebucks are based off of yen, that's like five bucks. So good deal. Um, yeah, just five bucks for 30 Safari Balls because they don't allow you to leave your hometown without a Pokemon accompanying you but you're not allowed to fight them in their natural habitat here at the Safari Zone, so... Oh, hey, a Geodude was the first thing. Let's catch him up. Woo, that was easy. And what will I name you? Alright, well, we got Rocky on the team already, so you will be named Stony, because... Just like with the devil, I am very original with my nicknames, and I'm always the first one to think of them. Alright. That was this area's catch. Let's see what we've got over here in the swampland. Oh boy, a centret. Wonderful. Um, I feel like centret would be an okay HM slave in the future. So, just in case I need something to dump all my HMs onto, I will have Centric for that. Isn't this supposed to be like a swamp area? Why is there an adorable little, like, ferret thing there? Fur is a ferret. Centric is... I don't even know what Centric is based off of. Alright, I think this is a dead-end area. Luckily, I don't think I'm limited by steps in this Safari Zone, so I can just walk wherever I want. Ooh, there's some nice pseudo-grass. What do we got over here? 
Oh, cool, Paris. I'm really just abandoning my normal pickiness because everything in here has really high catch rates. Alright, well, you're Paris, so... Uh, again, super creative. I'm gonna name you Paris France. Ooh, 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 ooh. And never use you again. So, instead of happily roaming your beautiful life in the safari zone, you are now confined into a computer forever and ever because I honestly don't even see myself using you ever. Oh boy, a sun current! Nope. I guess I'll give you one more attempt at being caught. Alright, well, Sunkern actually, I'm not making this up, has the lowest stats of any Pokemon ever, so you're not worth more than two balls attempts. Um, let's see, down here, have we been here? Yes, I think we have. Uh, but that's the only path to go from here. Right? I'm pretty sure we were in this area already. I think. This looks familiar, right? This is the pseudo grass place. Is it? I think this might be different. Yeah, no, because this area is sealed off except for over there, so. Hopefully, this isn't an illegal catch. Let's see what we got. Come on now. Oh my god. Are there even Pokemon here? There we go. Oh, Pidgey. Nostalgia! I'm gonna run away. Um, there we go. Alright, let's see what escapes the dupe's claws. Whoa! Alright, a Mr. Mime. But the reason I freaked out there a little was because the audio kind of repeated itself. Oh. Alright, well, you broke free. I meant to throw a rock there. And you're still watching carefully. Bud. He's angry, but he's still here. Dang it. I kind of want a Mr. Mime. I feel like... Oh. Alright, well, I think that might be every zone of... Or every area of the Safari Zone. Oh, hey, look, it's a uh, transvestite. <laughs> Bell the transvestite bell sprout. Alright, um, yep, so we caught a Geodude. I guess we show that to Baboa now. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the Safari Zone because I can't catch anything legally there. Certainly, please return any Safari Zones you ever made. Did you have fun? Come again. Oh, what's up, Chad? I don't even remember you. Howdy, it's Chad. Professor Oak traveled all around the world when he was young. Must have learned about Pokemon naturally, without all these god dang GMOs these days. Show me the Geodude. Oh, okay. You got, you wanna see my stony? <laughs> is this is this a PC or a gumball machine or? Okay, it's a gumball machine, dude. Like, I can see the little candies inside. I guess I gotta go into the Pokemon Center and get a stony. It's the last time I'm gonna have Geodude be synonymous with Boner. Oh look, Cameron the Photographer. Alright, get yourselves ready for a nice little picky picture. Who's gonna be invisible in this one? Uh, oh boy, it's gonna be, once again, Blaze. He cannot see Blaze. <laughs> Hold on, while, while we're in the PC, I think I might look at the pictures to see if there are any where Blaze is not blocked by another Pokémon. Actually, no, we only have a minute left, so... Boot up the PC, go into Bill's PC, and move the Pokemans. And where's the Stony? There he is. You are going to replace Stray for like two seconds. And come on, I, I can do this. I can do this. I can get to Baboa in time. Hopefully I won't cut off the episode in the middle of uh, something. Okay. Oh, wonderful, we've got a Geodude past the first test. Didn't I tell you that there are two tests? That's right. Okay, well, I'm preparing for it. I'll let you know once it's ready. You just need to wait a little. All right, and we will wait a little next time. Uh, thanks so much for watching. This time we didn't really do a whole lot except for the Safari Zone. 
Uh, next time we might be doing a little grinding for Jasmine. I might actually do that in between videos. You'll see. Bye.